All right, Alex, end of camp this week. Uh, first ever clinician experience for you. Um, yeah. I was pretty impressed with the stuff on top. Um, not a guy I would want to wrestle with on the mat. Ian was talking about how tight everything was, like when you're getting two on one tilts. But what's it like being, you know, you're graduated now, made the NCAAs this year for Oregon State, Pac 12 champion, pretty good college career. But, you know, looking back now that you can start teaching kids, what's it like? Uh, it's good. It's real good. Um, it is different too, really different starting to actually, because I've been doing it for years, you know, like all my all my tilts and everything like that. And it, it's just kind of getting, thinking about like vocalizing it and like breaking it down into smaller steps to like get other people to understand it. Because I know how to do it, just muscle memory and everything. But getting getting it through other people's heads is kind of difficult for me right now. But I mean, I, I want to get to where I can really teach other people what I'm doing and have it feel just the same way as I do it. So so others can, can do it just the same way I do. You, uh, you know, articulating things into words, it's not as easy as you think, uh, no, you know. <laughs> when you look at it though, and you, you were just there, you were just there, you know, Jim Zaleski's yelling things at you four months ago. Yeah. You know, what's it like, you know, now having kids look at you and you being the instructor, what's that like? It feels completely different being on the other side of things, really. But um, it feels cool, it feels cool, because, uh, I mean, everybody, everybody that is, that has taught me and got me to where I am, they, I mean, they, they all had other people teaching them when they were my age and younger. So, I mean, it feels cool, cool to be able to actually go in forward and uh, be able to pass down what I've learned and, and get, get younger kids to be able to learn from me and just kind of complete the circle, you know, just let pass, pass on experiences and uh, technique to the younger kids. Looking at your, you know, your life, you you graduate next week, I think, or this week. Yeah, I'm actually done with classes. I technically graduated last term, have my diploma and everything, but next week's the ceremony, and my parents probably want to see that, so I'm doing that for them. What are you gonna be when you grow up? Uh, I don't even know yet. I'm not really <laughs> up. Actually, right now though, I, I'm gonna work on getting my real estate license and start uh, start becoming a real estate agent. Right now, I think. Five years of your life dedicated to the you know, Oregon State Beavers, Jim Zalowski. Uh, you know, Steiner, Roberts, uh, Mike's teammate of yours and a coach now, uh, Chad Hankey. These guys are, you know, they're guys you've been around for the last five years of life. What do you, what do, you do now? Uh, you know, I say, what are you going to be when you grow up? But real estate, you're going to have some time. Mm -hmm. What do you do in your free time? Do you, do you try and stay and train with them? What oh, do you do? Yeah, yeah, definitely. They're a great group of guys. I, I love them. They've done so much for me ever since I've been freshman in, at OSU. And, I mean, I want to I wanna help them any way I can now. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of free time, and part of the, I mean I'm from real close to Salem. I could go right back home to Salem, and I mean, just do my own thing there. But I, I like being being in Corvallis, and I like the thought of being able to come back and wrestle with the guys younger than me. I mean, we've got Delgado, Abraham Rodriguez, those guys around my weight. I want to wrestle with them and, and keep getting them better right now. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I plan on sticking around and helping out as much as I can. In Go, my free time. Going into your fifth year, you know, you'd never made the NCAA tournament. You were a spot starter at 65, 57. Never really had a position on the team. You know what I mean? It was like it went back and forth and mm -hmm. getting in there, being the guy, winning in the Pac-12 at home. What was that like? It was really good. It felt, felt accomplishing. It felt, I mean, yeah, it was, it was a chance to actually show what I got and that I can, that I can do, uh, and that I can be a Pac-12 champion. I mean, I could have been an All-American this year. I think, I mean, I kind of, Wish I had more time still to to keep wrestling, but I mean that's life, and I'm 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 glad that I got to at least show show the fans or show everybody that I could could do what I did this year. It felt good. Well, you know, looking at your NCAA tournament, you know, I thought you had a great tournament. You ended up four and two at the tournament, losing first round, battling back the round of twelve. You know, so many guys talk about, oh, I lost in the round of twelve, and my life's ruined. You don't seem like that at all. You seem like a guy who's like gonna gain momentum going downhill in life now. Um, you know, you lose in the round of twelve. Obviously, heartbreaking thing. But mm -hmm. you know, what do you do, and how do you apply that to life? And, and what do you tell guys on the Oregon State team, you know, to get them to their goals? What do you do? I mean, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna have setbacks like that. I mean, hopefully, anybody that does do that. I mean, that we were all seniors that did that this year that went out in the round of 12. But there's a lot of young guys that went out too, in the, in the, and it was good that they got that experience. It just being at the NCAA tournament. I mean, I was a senior before I even got to go there and experience it. So, I think everybody that was there. This year, and then they didn't accomplish their goals. I think, I think they should uh, just feed off that, feed off how that felt, and it's it's great that they have multiple multiple years left, all our young guys to go back and try it again. So, I think they just need to use that. Working with Ian, Mike, Coach Roberts, what's that experience been like this week? It's been really good. They're good. They're 
fun to fun to talk to, fun to hang out with, fun to work with. They're, I mean, they know a lot of good technique, especially Ian's explosive moves. I really, I mean, I've felt them firsthand, obviously when I wrestled them at the NCAs. But yeah, it's, it was it was really good, uh, just getting to, getting to see them actually teach moves to uh, to other people because I think I think I learned some stuff from them, the way they explained uh, their technique to people, and and I kind of started trying to. To explain things in the same way that they were. So, yeah, I picked up some good things from them. All right, you guys are splitting over to West Valley. You got anything else for me? Nope. nope. Good stories this week? Yeah. Lots were you of good entertained? Stories. Yeah. Or were you not entertained, sir? <laughs> were you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, thanks for the time. Enjoy the camp tonight. And uh, congratulations on graduation. Yeah, thanks a lot, Zeb.